Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I cannot tell you how much I struggled to film this video for you guys because uh, you all wanted skincare and I thought that you know I should give this to you. But then I filmed this video. I filmed it yesterday, but then something went wrong. I don't know. There was this weird sound in the background. It was just so irritating, and it was constantly there. And then I thought I had to film this again. So here we are filming it again because you really, really wanted to see. So many of you keep sending me the request. That they want to see my skincare routine so I thought I would incorporate it in this video today so my skincare routine is pretty much a very simple it's more like um, you know a nighttime skincare routine because in the day I don't do too much so uh, I hope you guys like my skincare routine and I think I we should just jump into the video it's pretty simple also um, just to give you guys an idea about how my skin is my skin is very dry but the t-zone is always um, like oily so it's a very combination kind of a skin so uh, let's just jump into the video and see what I, all I do so uh, first and foremost I love using makeup wipes to clean my makeup these are the Neutrogena makeup wipes they really help easily break all your makeup down and all you need is just one wipe and your whole makeup is gone and it's super super in easy and simple to do it so these makeup wipes are everything now for my eye makeup uh, now obviously I don't make wear makeup wear makeup every day so like it's not like my skincare routine starts and ends with this but it's just that whenever I wear makeup so I just use these like uh, makeup remover uh, makeup removers or makeup wipes to clean that up for my eyes I love using makeup removers like the Neutrogena deep clean and the Lancome one this is a little more expensive but just works the same so you can go ahead and buy this one or even L'Oreal has come up with new one uh, with a new one and people love it Maybelline has one it is amazing I have tried it so it's just upon you that whatever you want just take it on a cotton pad and just keep it on your eyes for a bit and all your makeup will you know just melt and come down you also can use oil like the regular olive oil that is available at your home or coconut oil I use that tons of times to remove that you know mascara which takes like forever to come off so it's just on what options you like you can use your oil you can use these makeup removers it just depends on you and washing my face I love using the Neutrogena deep clean makeup removing creamy face wash now uh, it's everything is not makeup removing it's because I wear makeup as well so it's just that uh, this face wash works great with makeup without makeup with everything it works well so you can definitely go ahead and buy this one it's really amazing um, but face washes definitely depend on your particular skin type so uh, just don't go by what I'm saying but if your skin is just like me and if you use a little bit of makeup and all of that then please uh, go ahead and buy this uh, face wash it's really really amazing uh, once I uh, you know wash my face I love going in with this Mario Badescu face mist before I start with scrubbing I just feel that this face mist really really helps hydrate my face and these mists are basically it has rose water in it so you can just skip this and use any rose water it'll act as a toner as well as uh, you don't need to buy expensive toner shit you, if you can just use this it'll act as a toner and it'll really help calm and soothe your skin down which I love doing so that's why I use this so once I wash my face I love using a scrub to actually deep clean my face I'm the kind of a person who can scrub their faces like all day all night but uh, it's not something that I do on an everyday basis in every two to three days I tend to uh, scrub my face I love the ever youth walnut scrub I think it's so so amazing but it's not like every time I use this scrub I just alternate between the homemade scrubs coffee scrubs this scrub so it's just not I don't have a holy grail scrub I keep trying things and I love I mean I almost love all the scrubs I like a little scrubs which are not that mild but if you have very sensitive skin then go for scrubs which are a little mild because um, it will really help uh, you know clean your clogged pores and everything so I just love scrubbing for that next thing is also not something which I do on an everyday basis but I just like doing it in every three four days because uh, it really helps my makeup um, you know it really helps my makeup I was saying it really helps my skin be a lot more smooth and firmer and you know I really think you should incorporate masks in your skincare routine I love the beauty formulas glorious mud mask actually I love all kinds of mud masks I think they are so amazing and if you guys have an oily skin then you do not have an idea what I'm talking about if you do not have an idea then you go and buy mud masks I think they are the best thing 
I mean they make my face look uh, so smooth, glowy. I love this beauty formulas ones but I better than this is the Himalaya one and I ran out of that so I'm telling you guys I use this one. But that mud mask is amazing. So go buy a mud mask from Himalaya or beauty formulas but own one because it's everything. I also love using sheet masks because my face is uh, so dry. So I love hydrating it with sheet masks. They actually help you you know hydrate and nourish your face a lot and it's been in trend so much that i had to try them out um it's i, I use one from sephora and i also have from star skin but um, those are a little expensive but you can get so many off of nike and amazon and so many other where they're just like 100 to 100 bucks each and just try it one for try one for yourself and see if it works for you i love using a uh, face mask when i'm going out for like some sort of a party or something like that which really helps hydrate my skin because when I'm putting makeup it tends to dry it out so I love using it at night before so for my daycare I want to tell you that I don't pretty much do anything I just wash my face and I put on some lotion and a sunscreen and I'm out the sunscreen I like using is of course the Neutrogena one and the Cetaphil it has SPF 50 so and both are like very high um, SPF so I love using an SPF because SPFs are so so important I mean if you're stepping out of the house don't do it without an SPF whether it's summer winter whatever because SPFs like really protect your skin from aging from dark spots from ultraviolet rays from everything so you gotta gotta include an SPF anyway but that's just my daycare for night I love going in with a heavy duty moisturizer it this is a Cetaphil moisturizer I don't know if this will zoom in. I just love using this because this is so, this is hydrating. This is hydrating, very hydrating. So if you have an oily skin, I would not recommend this moisturizer. I would rather that you, I would rather, you know, prefer that you go in with a very light moisturizer. I'm just searching for a light moisturizer. But as you know, I have a very dry face. I don't have one. But you can definitely try the Lacme peach milk moisturizer i feel that the consistency of that moisturizer is really light then a vaseline cocoa so something like cocoa moisturizer that those also had a very light consistency what i felt i am a very dry skin person so i don't know what light consistency is but for me it was light so if you guys should you know just try it out for yourself but if you are dry then use the Cetaphil one it is so so hydrating I love sleeping in with this because I don't use it in the day because it will make my face very greasy but I love using it in the night because it really hydrates and nourishes my skin and that's exactly what it needs while I'm sleeping for my under eye area I just like doing a little bit extra effort for it because okay, so you're gonna age the maximum from this area and the most out of this area first because this area is like a very very thin um, you know the skin is very thin and you need to keep it with a lot of moisturizer and if you guys have an oily skin you guys are so lucky I don't know I use an oil to hydrate this area because this really helps I don't use an oil throughout the day obviously because I can't be going out and wearing oil and you know living in it but yeah from for the night I love doing it but I just don't do it every day because if I use oil this is the bio oil and I don't like using it under my eyes every single day because if I use it every day after some days I just feel that there are tiny you know little bumps that keep uh, you know that come up and I think that this too much of hydration also isn't that the best isn't the best thing so I just using it like in two three days once in two three days so that you know a, basically a balance is maintained and that's all but I like using it because it's very important and if I come up with something else and if I find something else I will definitely let you know okay so you must be thinking that it, it must be simple it was simple it's supposed to be simple but these steps are not what I do on everyday basis like the pack and the scrub and all of that that is like a three day something rotation but I'm just telling you everything I ever do to keep it you know my, keep my skin healthy next I just love the, this this is also something which I don't use on an everyday basis like these two items that I'm gonna share with you these are not like I use in an everyday skincare thing but I use it when I feel that there's a lot of tiredness on my face my face looks so dull and it's so tired and I love using the herbal essentials aloe gel you don't need to buy this 
this little expensive you just need to buy an aloe vera gel aloe vera gel sort of have that cooling soothing effect so once you apply that under your eyes if your eyes are puffy or tired you know i just like doing this whenever i feel very um, you know very tired and my eyes are puffy and i know i have something the next day i love using this under my eyes it really you know soothes the under eye area sleep in it the gel dries it soothes the under eye area it becomes a lot um, you know it becomes a lot the puffiness goes it looks very very calm and nice i also like using that spooning method where you just use a cold spoon on your eyes but um, you use that a cucumber but i love using this aloe gel it really helps you know take that puffiness away and similarly i sometimes use this neutrogena brightening serum like it says it's the fine fairness serum but i just don't use it for fairness or anything because i think that's so so stupid i mean nothing makes you change your complexion and i don't want to change my complexion everybody i think should be happy in their complexion i think everybody's skin is so beautiful and everybody's uh, complexion is so beautiful for their own selves but um i just use it because it has a little bit of a brightening effect so i just love that it really brightens my face a little i just i don't know if i'm daydreaming or i just actually feel that so sometimes when my face i even use it during the day if i feel that my face is looking super dark and i just use it over my sunscreen and it, this is a serum so it actually you know helps uh, it's a very uh, gel kind of a consistency so i just use it uh, during the day if i'm going out or during the night when i feel that uh, my face doesn't look that uh, you know bright and radiating and all so i just use it i don't know if this is my own uh, you know if i'm daydreaming or whatever like i said so but just try it out on your own but these are pretty much all the steps that i undertake so uh yeah that's pretty much it for my skincare routine i know there were some a lot of items but basically this is my skincare routine for my week or for like when i'm going out somewhere for an event for a special occasion this is what i love using on an um, not an everyday basis but sort of covers everything this is just the current thing in case i have an updated one i will definitely film a video for you guys i hope you guys like the video and i hope uh, this time it comes through because i'm so done with doing this a third time i won't be able to so i hope you guys liked it please give it a thumbs up and uh, i hope you guys like it please subscribe to my channel and bye bye oh my god it was still on i'm sorry <laughs> please give it a thumbs up I don't know. I have to go open the door. I don't know. I had to return this back. And somebody had come. Okay, whatever. Okay, whatever. I just feel like I spend a lot of time. I think skincare is so important. So much more important than makeup. Like seriously, if you like guys love makeup more than skincare, I judge you. I judge you right now.